Okay, so Windows is booting. When it boots, you can see that I've got Easy BCD installed. I'm going to right click and run it as min as run as administrator. <laughs> Check the language. Click OK. Wait for it to boot. Oh, start, I should say. And you can see that Windows 7 is the default and is only one uh, one entry. So I'm going to add a new entry. Click on Linux. Select Grub2. I'm going to give uh, a Linux entry a name, which is going to be Linux Mint. And I click on uh, where it's located. So it's on drive 2, which is drive 1 in here. Okay, because Windows is on drive 0. Linux is on this partition, the first partition, which is the root partition. That's where we've installed our bootloader to. And if we view the settings, we can see that nothing has changed yet. So click back onto add entry. And then click add entry again. That adds it in. Click view settings and you can see that I've entered uh, a new entry here in the boot menu. We can change this around. We can put Mint first or, Linux or Windows first. We can tell it the default. That if, when it boots, it boots up Linux in default. But we're going to change it back to Windows. Okay, so the first thing that's going to boot is going to be Windows. And by default, I'm going to change it from 30 seconds down to 5 seconds. So if you do nothing with it, it will boot into Windows after 5 seconds. Okay. Click Save Settings. And we can see that uh, the default is Windows 7. It starts to boot after 5 seconds and gives you a choice of Windows or Linux Mint. Reboot the computer and you get this screen, Windows 7 or Mint Linux. Choose Mint Linux, click Enter, and you get the Grub screen. Now, obviously, this starts the countdown again, so you, later on you may want to change the countdown timer. From here, click on your name, and then input your password. Click OK, and Mint Boots. Okay. Click close and then you're away to go.